Good morning and welcome to another day here on planet Earth. I'm your Mary Gardener. This is Medium Latte Extra Hot, episode 185. Um, I made a massive boo-boo on one of my jobs. So this was, um, when was it? Last week, I had a client to me and, and uh, we talked about various jobs that need doing. I need to do a couple of hours every two weeks on this job. And we've done loads of bits of hedging, bits of weeding, um, streaming, all kinds of stuff. And he mentioned to me, can you clear the ivy off of the garage? And uh, I've only got two hours and it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a massive, it goes right the full length of the garage. And it's covering the front. And I was like, okay, yep, no, I sort it out. Came to the day to do this particular job. I knocked on the door, no one was in. So I thought, okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to crack on with it. It was absolutely papping down with rain. And um, I'm going to show you the video, the before and after, because it looks really nice what I've done so far. Obviously, it's going to take more than two hours to fully get the ivy off the garage. But it's a row of four garages. And when you look at the four garages, you can clearly see one big block of ivy covering the garage door. Like, OK, yeah, I get it. And so I did it. Cleared it. Done the whole job. Got it, removed it. Made sure that you can open the garage door. And I'm like, that took two hours to do that and clear all the space and all those weeds. And there was a hedge that I cut back. And um, <clears throat> finished, packed up all my stuff, knocked on the door. I think the lady would, was back. And I said, all right, I've cleared all the garage. I've cleared the ivy off the garage. You can open up the door. Now. And she was like, literally, like um, our garage is the second door in. And I'm like, oh, no, I've done the wrong garage. Oh, so I've just spent two hours. And now is a miscommunication. But I was very confused because the second garage... There's probably like a tiny bit of ivy that's grown over the first garage and then a tiny bit and maybe some on the roof that's going onto the second garage. So like, and it, and the way they talked about it when I spoke to him about it, it sounded like it was, it was a real bugbear for him that the ivy was on his garage. And when you look at all the garages, you can only, you can clearly see it's covering, I don't know, I, I, some, I assumed, oh, it's annoying. Anyway, I'm going to show you the video of the before and after because I was really chuffed of how it looked and how nice and then to be told that luckily the client paid and they were fine and it was it was only a couple of hours worth of work and the rubbish I don't take the rubbish away it stays there on a burn pile so um there was it wasn't that bad but gutting that you've now just done a job for some other neighbor which I don't think they talk to you too much but um <laughs> I'll show you before and after. Guys, have a good one. Check this out and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. We can't always get things right. Sometimes we mess up, but hey-ho, we move on, we crack on, we learn from it. Take care, people. I'm going to clear this. Oh, ivy from this garage. And these weeds. And this mess. This garage is completely obscured by that ivy. Barely see the game. It's pretty thick in there. I'll show you the afters. They can get into their garage now, which is nice. So there's a lot more ivy on top of there. That's going to take a long time, but I'm only here for a couple of hours, so um, nice to see that all clear. All the weeds clear. They can actually get in and out of that garage now is nice. I'm going home. I'm done. I don't even know if that garage door. Oh, it does. It does actually work. Oh my god. Wow. Jesus. Oh my god, look, there's more ivy in there. Jesus. Okay, let's close that. Oh, that garage door. Well, at least it works. They can get in and out now. <laughs>